boy. I gotta, gotta put something away. Got a whole bunch of crap on the bench. And I can't fit any more stuff on the bench. So I'm putting, putting some tools away. Like the Evira wrench. Put that away. I gotta put this over there and this over there. And this vice grip is what I'm putting away. Vice grips. Everybody wants vice grips. <clears throat> this goes in the box over there. 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 And this one goes in the box over there too. I gotta get a box for these things. It's terrible hammers. I don't know who, I don't know who collects hammers, but you know. <laughs> gotta be crazy guy. Collect hammers. I gotta sharpen some more chisels too. I put these back. What else goes in that box? What else goes in the box? I don't know. All right, let me go put these over here. <coughs> you guys always watch me walk over here and put stuff in the box. I'll probably put the camera over here in a minute. I'll show you what's in the box. You think I should do that? I don't know. Anyway, let's see. The box is full. Full. Like, I mean, totally full. And I'm planning on buying a new one. Mostly because with another toolbox, you can buy more tools. You can also close the drawers. And you have more tools. Where does this go? Where does this go? Goes in there. And this one can go in here, I guess. Down there. Ta da! Play scripts. Oopsies. Need room here. I need some room. A lot of stuff messed up in here. This goes up here, I think. The torch goes in there. Where does this go? I don't know. We'll put it in here. <coughs> put it in here. Then in here also. Probably in the wrong spot. Oh well. I also have a a drawerway over there for screwdrivers, <coughs> and I'm thinking, due to organizational ideas, I might put all my screwdrivers in a whole, whole big box by themselves. Keep all the little snap-ons over there. I have all my craftsman ones over here, and the snap-on ones over there, and the um, <clears throat> what I say, the other brand, I forget what they're called. Oh no, these go over there. I managed to own some made in USA. These are no name craftsmen. Made in unknown. <laughs> made in the valley of, what do you call it? Chinesium. So yeah, this is the Chinesium ones. Doopy 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 doo. I also <coughs> have to put this away. This I got to bring to my store. This thing I'm hanging in my store. I got to remember to bring it back. That's a wall hanger. Uh, I had a bunch of ancient tools here. And I should get my little clamp thingy and show you what. Let me see if I can get it on here. Will this work? Yeah, stay tuned. I'll show you. This one, I got it open, is mostly abrasive discs. They're all in here. I should store them in a box on a shelf and put tools in it, but back in the day, this was easier. I don't know why this thing's sticking, but it doesn't want to. This is, uh, was all ratchets one time. Now it's just whatever. In case I want to do some pasta, I got one of these. Yeah, never know. Not sure what the hell this tool is for, but it's in there. A pair of tongs. The uh, top one here is all screwdrivers. Yeah, I organize them beautifully, see? Beautiful. So these are mostly, well, 
I did a video of picks. I have all the picks in here. These are mostly all tiny screwdrivers. Over there has most of the useful ones. The top drawer is, believe it or not, medical gadgets. Yeah, there's all kinds of weird. I went to a flea market one time and found some pretty weird medical gadgets. See, like this. They were like five bucks each and you gotta reach somewhere and grab it. Apparently I looked up some of these and they're like five or six hundred dollars each. These are for doing laparoscopic surgery. Let's see if you go like this here. Yeah. If you look at it, there's a little chopper on the end. Chop, chop. See? See that little thing? Chomp, chomp. Where'd I get them? At a flea market. This one comes in handy. This is for like grabbing shit. I guess if you're inside someone's body, you want to grab an organ and kill somebody. There's a regular snap on pliers and stuff. And I don't know why there's a giant screwdriver in here. There's a, a brush in here. There's a pick. But most of those things are all medical tools. There's a giant stainless steel. I don't know what the hell this is for. No, it's not for looking up people's parts. No, I don't got one of those. I don't want one. Even this one's cool. This one's really neat because see that little end thing right there? Right there? That is a like a there's a blade on it, this thing. This thing at the very end has a blade on it. It just chops. I've actually used it for cutting wires, believe it. And uh oops, right there. let's flip this over. The top part is perfectly clean with my stuff. The lockers has meal parts in it. And uh, pretty much, I could go on for days here. That's pretty much what's in <clears throat> these two toolboxes. They will soon get emptied, refilled, and reorganized. And all of this crap will be adjusted. I do have shelving up there of junk. I gotta, probably when I clean out, I'm going to throw most of it out. A lot of stuff that I don't use. Meal parts, super bright lights. That is a giant lodge cast iron frying pan, which I absolutely love. There's bikes and lights. No more lights. Cabinet full of paint stuff. My lathe and other stuff. There's a wall. That wall, this wall right here used to be a floor. I stood it upright and bolted to the wall. Anyway, let me turn this around here. Anyway, folks, that's the end of this video. I'm just trying to make some videos before I leave the, the joint. And uh, you know what? I'm going to miss this garage. I think I liked my old... My first garage was cool because it was like my first one. This one is cool. It's kind of got a lot of a lot of shit in it. My first garage actually had two of them, though. <clears throat> the, there was no... Well, there was... At one time, there was eight Austin Minis in my garage. And then we built another one on the side and we put them in. So if this was my old garage, that car and this mule would be in the other garage and the rest would be a work area. And the best moment was when we slaughtered a deer in the middle of the garage. It looked like we murdered something there. There was blood and guts everywhere. It was kind of cool. So anyway, stay tuned. Like, subscribe, and uh, tell me. Uh, this is my cluster butt thing of work. I usually clean the bench if you watch videos and it's a mess. So back there is... A whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, toodles.